Hello everyone. Uh, name's Todd Loudermilk and I basically wanted to do um, not really a review, kind of a once over of a project I've been working on uh, to deal with the deer problem here. Uh, initially I bought a motion activated sprinkler system from Amazon. Uh, it was a hair trigger. It worked pretty well. Um, but you know, I would go to sleep at night worried about it running my well dry or there being a malfunction or, you know, I just had no idea. So there was a couple features I, I needed that just wasn't there. Uh, logging capability, the ability to set a limit on how many times it can be activated. Uh, and then the quality of my own system's a little better as well. And we'll, we'll get into that now. Uh, my assistant, Ada Jane, is in there. Wave Ada Jane. She's helping. She's going to be the deer here in a minute, okay, when I demo this. Uh, so essentially, if we look in here, I've got a Raspberry Pi all the way in the bottom there, uh, running a Linux operating system. In the front, it's a two channel relay. And then this little piece right here is a passive infrared motion sensor. Uh, down here is a pretty nifty little piece of gear uh, made by US Solid. It is a ball valve that runs on 12 volts. So I can actuate it uh, using electricity. Over here is a little junction box. Uh, basically, I'm able to run this entire thing off of the 12 volt battery right here. Uh, so the 12 volts comes in uh, and then I convert that to 5 volts, which is what the Raspberry Pi needs. Uh, but I've also got the 12 volts here, which actuates the ball valve, which is kind of cool. And the last thing on top is a red LED light that flashes and does some other stuff when it's triggered. And that's kind of this coolness factor. I'm pretty sure deer can't see red. Uh, but anyway, without further ado, I'm going to just, I'm just going to show you some of the programs uh, that operate this thing. And Ada... If you'll sit right there for a second, you get to be a deer here in a second, okay? I promise. Okay, hold on. Here we go. Come over here to my laptop. I hope you can see. You can't, of course. There we go. Uh, so there we are. So I can, I've got several programs here. You know, I can water the garden for, golly, I wish it would focus in there we go so I can water the garden I can you know for 30 minutes you know I can turn everything off uh, I can actuate just the light uh, so we'll see here I'll just do the light uh, okay so I'm gonna hit enter let's see if we'll, I hope you can see it so I'll just flash the light and it's gonna stay on for I think 7.5 seconds. The sprinkler, anytime the motion uh, motion is sensed, <clears throat> the sprinkler is gonna go for 10 seconds, uh, which is kind of cool. Uh, the other thing is <clears throat> I can set this up, I can schedule it. And the other system I could do that too. I could say I just wanted to do motion sensing at night or in the day or all the time. And you know, through a scheduler called Cron, uh, you know, on the Linux, well, on the Raspberry Pi there, I can actually say that between the hours of 6 p.m. and 6 a.m. I want this thing to work. Okay, so we flash the light. Now, let's see if we can run the water. Uh, so I'm going to come over here. Hopefully, we'll say water and then tan. Okay, so I'm going to hit enter. And Ada, hopefully you don't get wet. Oh, I'm getting wet. And the laptop. But anyway, so we're facing the wrong direction. But we can fix that. It's going to go off here in a second. Okay. So, obviously some adjustment is necessary here. Ada, can you... Can I just feel it? Yeah, you felt it. Okay, I don't know what in the world. Turn that around. Let's see here. So, so we don't want to get Ada wet right now. Not yet. Anyway. 
sorry, I adjusted this on the deck and everything's backwards. Okay, I think that's gonna do it. Okay, let's, we're gonna just test it one more time, Ada, here. I'll go over here. And the cool thing is that Raspberry Pi is Wi-Fi enabled. Uh, so I can be in the house and hit a button on my phone. I'm gonna add a web application that allow me to just hit a button. I'm also gonna have reporting based off the log files I'm creating. And those log files would allow me to generate like a heat map that'll tell me when the most activity is. So if I'm having most of my deer activity between 4 a.m. and 5 a.m. in the morning, I'll be able to see that. Uh, but anyway, we're gonna hit water pie and see if we work. There we go. And we got good coverage. Hey, it just took off running. And, and it's shutting right now. There we go. It's off. Okay. Ada, come back. Sit on your thing there. Okay, so now the motion sense. Now can I take it off? One second. I'm going to turn it on. Can you step, step back here? You know, I have to bear with me here. I'm trying to do it all here. Yeah. My laptop's wet. Come on. It is not like a mill. I wonder. So there's my motion sense. So what it'll do, it gives you like five seconds to get out of the way. So we're going to activate Ada. Stay right where you're at. Okay. We activate. Oh. Okay. I think we might be at. Oh, wait. We're, some bugs. So now we'll see that sensing is activated. Ada, I want you to come go way around there and act like a deer. Okay, now come close to the garden. Walk straight in front. Right here, close like you're gonna eat something out of the garden. You better run. And that's kind of it. And now it's going to shut. And she'll get close. And as you see the light flashing. And the light right there stays on. Hey, to get out of the water, you're supposed to run. That's enough. Not yet. Now, we'll see right here. Let me see if I can get this to focus here. There's my log files, right, so I've got a count. So when when this thing gets activated at 6 p.m., uh, it's gonna keep a count. I can set a limit there. I can say, I only want it to activate like 15 times. Okay. And anyway, with that said, that's all I got. It's a little crazy here right now.